Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. I handle DWI cases and personal injury cases as far south as Binghamton, as far north as Seneca. Today, I'd like to talk to you about getting your license back if you're on probation from either a misdemeanor DWI or a felony DWI. Now, if you've had a misdemeanor DWI case, then you're placed on three years of probation. If you had a felony DWI case, then the term of probation is five years. Now, during this time span, you're probably going to think, well, I'd like to get my license back. Misdemeanor and felony are two different things. On a misdemeanor DWI probation, the main person or the main entity that's going to determine whether you get your license back is going to be your probation officer. They will say that you're ready or they're allowing you to now go take the drinking dryer program or to get your license back and to have the ignition interlock device placed upon your car. So misdemeanor, generally speaking, it's going to be primarily probation that's going to make the decision. There's not going to be a lot of holds placed on it based on the judge or based upon the prosecutor. Now on felony probation, you're going to have to file with the court. And you're going to first off have to get probation on board to say, yes, we think that this person is ready and responsible and accountable enough to get their license back. But then you're going to have to make sure that the DMV says that that's okay. You're going to have to make sure that the judge thinks that that's okay, that they say it's all right for you to get your license back. And the prosecution doesn't have any say so that says we don't think this person should get their license back either. So you have four different entities to deal with when you have felony probation versus misdemeanor probation. If you have any questions about your DWI case, please feel free to give me a call. This is what I do. I'd be more than happy to give you some assistance.